Hello, Hanover Messe. My name is Ashok Tipperneni, Head of Product Management for Qualcomm Smart Cities and Smart Connected Spaces. I am excited to bring you a new solution offering from Qualcomm Technologies to the IoT segment. Today, I'll cover Smart Cities and Qualcomm IoT Services Suite and how we are addressing the challenges in the space. The acceleration of IoT and the effective implementation of a commercial industry IoT solution requires a complete ecosystem. And for Qualcomm Technologies, with its security-rich, cutting-edge technology in the mobile connectivity and computing space, and with our fully integrated SOCs and that are purpose-built, plus the strong, long, established relationships across the entire ecosystem is certainly powering customers to transform the commercial and industrial segments. Access to information is key for industrial IoT. And for that to happen, you need to have not only connectivity, but also compute and security. Lower power compute is a necessary component spanning from powerful on-device processing all the way to machine learning, AI, and to edge cloud services. Our inventions have helped enable our customers to compete in a way to grow globally with a technology transfer model that makes inventions available to them from the mobile industry into IoT. Qualcomm makes big bets long bets, industry-changing bets that customers harvest to bring their own innovations to commercialization. These bets are continuously resulting in a constant cycle of innovation, collaboration, and made available to the consumers. Another great example is Qualcomm Smart Cities and Smart Connected Spaces business. Qualcomm Technologies is at the center of the smart connected spaces, new use cases and verticals. Various technology trends are influencing the space and the smart connected spaces ecosystem is where all of this is converging with massive IoT, private LTE, private 5G, and now you add edge AI, whether it's a video AI, voice AI, or other intelligent sensors we are putting together some pieces of these puzzles with an end-to-end -end ubiquitous solutions. Command and control analytics, orchestrating the infrastructure financing mechanisms to solve the key challenges in this space. By utilizing new use cases in these specific areas and by harnessing the power of digitization, we are able to do this in multiple smart spaces, going anywhere from a low throughput application like a smart trash collection bin to essential services, smart water, smart energy, smart lighting, to a data heavy application like smart safety, smart security, where we are utilizing unstructured data from cameras enabled with Qualcomm AI technology. In this world of heterogeneity, our smart connected spaces are becoming the building blocks for smart communities. Let's pick an example. Smart infrastructure with smart roads, smart airports, smart ports, and smart hospitals. We are intelligently connecting all of these building blocks and build a smart community for these verticals where we are laser focused on bringing IoT services. Our Qualcomm Smart City solutions include a wide portfolio to address multiple customer needs. Through our Qualcomm Smart City Accelerator program, we have built a wide variety of products using the subject matter expertise for a vertical solution offering. We are collaborating and developing this with the industry leaders and enabling a complete set of tools for IoT deployment. By doing this, we are moving from silicon to solutions to end-to-end -to -end 
portfolio products. At the edge, we are building the AI into all these wonderful products. On top of that, there is a middleware where we are gathering intelligence, actionable data to be used for all of our smart city segments. The smart city enablement platform, we are putting all of this together to work straight out of the box. The Qualcomm smart city solutions have a variety of device endpoints. And now we are adding a layer of device management, a path of data analytics with advanced edge processing. This enables customers to have the next generation predictive and prescriptive analytics with an end-to-end -end security layer from silicon to solution. By doing this, we are bringing security, reliability, scalability into our IoT deployments. One aspect of our suite of solutions is the command and control architecture, which is very much needed for the cities and the B2B enterprises. Not only are we adding the capabilities of these devices, but we are also adding informational data that influences these decision makers for the IoT services by bringing all of this into a common platform for easy visualization of the command center. Imagine a city or a connected space operator with a single point of decision making with all of this data coming in through the command and control center. Our smart cities technologies and smart city enabling platform is putting all of this together to work straight out of the box. We are taking the technical complexity out of the equation. We are developing device endpoints, device management for data analytics, data storage, microservices, and a plug and play of our value added services that are fully containerized. IoT as a service is a comprehensive, end to end, readily deployable, out of the box solution. We are targeting the high value industries solving some of these tough problems in scaling for IoT. And the digitization of these high value industries involves solving the difficult use cases, use readily available commercially deployable solutions, enabling the vertical solutions that scale. And we are adding the end-to-end -end value with a wide range of solutions that are available with Qualcomm technologies. We are joining forces with the industry leaders for IoT as a service customization offering a clear product launch plan to the specific industries and enabling new and exciting use cases. And to demonstrate this, we have built our very own mini smart cities here on the 5G Qualcomm smart campus. We have integrated a dozen of smarts across the campus to show everyone here attending today how these solutions are working in a real life environment. Let me jump over to the command and control center to show that. What you see here in the campus is a integrated smart parking solution, a complete building energy management, smart security and surveillance for our security teams, smart transportation for our shuttles that move our employees between the buildings of the campus, smart lighting and outdoor solutions, as well as asset tracking, a complete a smart trash can and a waste management. All of this flowing into our digital twin and a collaboration spaces within our headquarters building. Now, what you see here is all of this data flowing seamlessly into our funnel to be showcased here at the Knox Center. Let's go into smart parking. What you see here is a smart parking solution that's able to not only tell you if there is a spot that's vacant or if the spot that's occupied, but because it is all done using AI at the edge with an integrated camera that like you see here into the LED light, 
It's able to not only capture information regarding the occupancy, but also the metadata associated with it. In this case, the number plate recognition of the vehicle, what make and model of the car, all of this happening with the processing at the edge and able to transfer all of this data into a headquarters building or our knock center here. What you see here, for example, in this pane is are all the spots where the, uh, where the vehicles are occupying, as well as if these spots are categorized as electric or specialized slot that we see here for our desktop field services engineers, and all the other analytics and trending data that we capture from each level of our smart parking solutions. Now, not only do we see the static nature of this, but the alerts and the notifications that we get from the knock center are all displayed here. It shows you which car is parked in which spot. It tells you all of that metadata all flowing in normalized onto the Qualcomm IoT Services Suite platform and displayed here. How would anybody use this solution in realistic world? This is a commercial ready solution that could be used for any parking garages in the city, indoor or outdoor. One of the key features that we are thinking is not only detection of a parking spot, but most of our engineers here, when we are walking back to pick up our car, a lot of the times we don't realize where we parked the car. We have something called a reverse car finding, where you can punch in just the model and make of the car and maybe a portion of your license plate and the AI behind it is able to recognize and detect and guide you to the spot where you parked. That's what we envision as smart parking. Going back to, let's say, our smart shuttle solution. In this case, we have the underlying sensory fabric integrated into the normal shuttle operations. We have three cameras that are integrated into the shuttle. One sitting on top of the windscreen looking out to make sure if the vehicle is veering off the, off the lane or you know, getting too close to the vehicle in the front. There's a second camera for driver monitoring system that's looking at the driver from the dash dashboard, an ability to do all of the AI on the edge, ability to detect some specific scenarios related to driver safety. In this case, whether you are on a cell phone or whether the driver is distracted or other dangerous scenarios that are for driver safety, these are all captured by the cameras on the edge and sent back to either the supervisor or the fleet management center. Now, in, in this case, what you see here is a full smart fleet management solution where all the analytics is brought to the front. In this case, a snapshot of where the driver was, what speed they were driving at into the network operation center's viewing pane. It also gives you all the metadata that is associated with this. In this case, the lat long, the position, or the screen capture from these cameras. The third piece of this is a camera that is looking at the shuttle's occupancy data. Again, remember, this is all being done with AI on the edge. All that the camera is capturing is a count of passengers in the cabin and relaying that information in two byte data on how many seats are occupied and how many seats are vacant. This information becomes immensely useful, especially here at the campus where an employee is able to stand at a shuttle stop, not only know when the vehicle is approaching the shuttle stop, but able to tell what is the queue length of the folks who are waiting at the shuttles and how many seats are vacant. Now, this is what we call as a next level of intelligence, not just knowing when the shuttle is coming in, but the occupancy and the ability for the employee to make a decision 
on to take the shuttle or take their own other alternate forms of transportation. This is all part of our smart fleet management. Going back to another key piece of it, we have implemented a, a complete street of smart lights. These are highly integrated street lights that has a IoT hub, a camera system that's again with edge AI, as well as atmospheric sensors to give environmental data, the ability to control these lights remotely, as well as a access point. Now imagine what these kind of products that we are bringing to the table could do to a city where not only do you get connectivity, but you're adding safety and security on the existing infrastructure. In this case, it's not a simple street light anymore, but it's a magnificent piece of hardware using the same real estate, giving you all the benefits of a smart city. What you see here, for example, are a group of lights, each with ability to control each light individually or in a group, ability to see what the light sees in order to make a judgment on a person crossing the street or identifying a person crossing the street. All of this is, is brought back to the network operation center where now I'm able to group the lights, I'm able to control the lights, I'm able to see how much power is being consumed by these lights and on top of that ability for me to see if there is a violation that occurs at these lights. In this case, for example, you could, you could see here if the light status has changed, if there is a person crossing the road, I'm able to detect that from the street light. Let's go back to our home screen and focus on the next important one, which is smart security. Our smart security solution has edge AI cameras that have been specifically trained to detect some security alerts within our campus. These AI cameras are not only able to detect with some of the new use cases that came in because of the pandemic, including mask detection, ability to detect if there is a crowd that's forming, and notify if there is social distancing uh, policies that are implementable and or if they are not followed, as well as other scenarios where we are able to detect if there are employees who are not badging in, that, that are able, to, if there are uh, crowds that are being formed, or detect an, uh, a person uh, outside of the working hours. These smart cameras are able to do all of this edge analytics, ability to transmit that information in a streamlined fashion to the network center, which is being used by our own security team. For example, you could see here that there is a, a new person entering a particular area, and that notification comes in immediately, so the security team could take an action on it. Not only does it do it, I'm able to immediately see the live view of all of these cameras brought into the platform. So what you see here is the data that is coming in after the analysis associated with either a picture or a video clip of the event that has happened. All of that normalized and brought in to the network center where whoever is operating it is now able to use the standard operating procedures to follow through with it. Now the beauty of it is all of the intelligence, all of the data collection, all of the normalization is all happening on the platform. And what you see here is a visualization of the data that is analyzed and brought to the front. Most of the cities, one of the key problems that they face today is how do they tackle waste management? Now, what we have implemented here is a smart trash can. It is a solar powered trash compactor that is able to record how many throw-ins into the trash bin are happening at all times, ability to detect how the trash can is filled up, 
and take actions based on that. So imagine for a city that waste collection system is done through this humongous gas guzzling trucks. Now instead of picking the trash on schedule and going to every single spot to empty it, whether they are full or not, now the platform gives you the ability to go pick it up on demand as the trash cans are getting full because the trash bin is able to send all of this data back to the operations center to make those decisions. So what you see here, for example, is a trash can that is showing 80% full. And when this data is coming to the network center, I am able to set up a cleaning schedule for, for the team here so that the operations team can go pick up the trash. Now, these trash bins, apart from giving the data, also act as a hotspot. Uh, we are using the infrastructure that's there today in the cities, whether it's a street light, whether it's a trash can, making them intelligent in a way and providing services to its citizens that today we don't look at a trash can that it's a useless piece of infrastructure, but it's intelligent, able to serve its citizens in a much more effective way. Um, the next piece of it is, how do we bring all of this data into something that I can use? Not only is everything brought into the operation center, but all of that is visualized into our digital twin. In this case, is a complete model of our smart campus. This is a sensor fusion of LiDAR and an HD 360 camera, like the ones that you see here, all brought together to create this entire digital twin. This digital twin acts as a base model to which all the data that I've shown in can be visualized. Imagine the context and the nature of this data as seen by a operator. Not only are they just not seeing just the graphs and the beautiful analytics, but they're now able to correlate that into how it happens in real life. In this case, this is our headquarters building. I am able to see real-time data within this model. This digital twin is accurate up to an eighth of an inch. Imagine this, how the facilities team would use it for planning, how the security team can look at it an event that's happening on an HA camera, but within the context of this building. It's as though you are at the building, I'm able to move around and able to correlate the real-time data into this model. Now, not only is this bringing in massive amounts of real-time data in, uh, from, the, from our IoT services suite funnel into the model, but it's also integrated with social media. I'm able to track a particular event here into something that probably you know, tweeted for the city. So that's the beauty of having all of this brought into the digital twin. Now, this digital twin is not based on a prior building plans or a CAD drawings. This is built on the fly along with the sensor fusion hardware and software that we have brought to the table. Again, from our ecosystem of our partners. Let's quickly look at what is going on. When an operator comes to the, the, the NOC center, what they are gonna look at is a simple pane of information, a highlights of what they need to tackle on that day. That entire data is flowing in through a simple alert scroll that it gives them the AI brings the priority of each of these events happening so they can tackle the most important ones first. Along with that, you're able to see a snapshot of everything that's going on in the campus through the platform and ability to go deep, deep as and when needed into the ones that are there. Hope you were able to see the complexities of the technologies, how we are demystifying them, 
bringing them all onto a simple usable platform that is a complete end-to-end -end solution. It is readily available to be commercialized and launched and already being implemented in various parts of the world. Thank you very much for attending and giving me a chance to present today. Thank you.